for weeks the conversation about the Cavs is when were they going to add that backup point guard? LeBron James mentioned it after losing to Chicago the other night. And what do you know? The Cavs don't add the backup point guard. They go a different direction, adding shooting. And essentially staying true to their philosophy. When LeBron announced his return in 2014, general manager David Griffin made a point to surround him with as much shooting as possible. That's why they added J.R. Smith two years ago. That's why they brought in Channing Frye at the trade deadline last year. That's why they brought in Mike Dunleavy this offseason. They want to surround LeBron, Kyrie, and Kevin Love with as much shooting as possible to continue to make the defense have to make a decision. The decision is simple. Pick your poison. Are you going to load up to try and slow down Cleveland's big three and therefore leave open shots to the shooters? Or are you going to try and stay connected to all of the outside shooting that the Cavs have, one of the best three-point shooting teams in the NBA, and therefore create open lanes for LeBron, Kyrie, and Kevin? That's the pickle that the Cavs continue to put teams in. And now, with this new addition of Kyle Korver, it's going to ramp up even more. A few years ago, when the Cavs played against the Hawks, he was the number one name on the scouting report. It was no disrespect to Paul Millsap, Al Horford, Dennis Schroeder, Jeff Teague, or any of the all-stars that they had there, but they felt Kyle Korver was the barometer for the offense. He commanded so much of the defense's attention, he moved without the ball so well, and he's one of the best three-point shooters of the last decade. Now the Cavs bring him in, and the open looks that he got in Atlanta are going to be even more here in Cleveland with defenses loading up to try and slow down Kyrie, Kevin, and LeBron. And Korver this year is shooting 47% on open threes. He's going to be more open than he ever was in Atlanta, and the Cavs offense is going to be even more potent with yet another outside spot-up threat.